right, let's hear it for the Slam Bassadors. It's big hand for these guys. Come on, are you out there? Let's hear it. Yeah. Are they hot or what? Woo, all the way from Los Angeles. And we have another musical guest for you tonight. Let me just give you a little idea of what's going to be happening. Uh, first of all, you should have your all-access pass. A little keepsake for you for Williams Valley Midway Live at the Hard Rock. That's the name of this event. If you turn it over, you'll see a bunch of logos on the back of this thing. Can you see them? What those are are the best distributors in the world. And Williams Valley Midway is proud to be associated with them. Uh, tonight we've got a lot of things going on. We've got live entertainment. As the name of the event implies, everything is going to be live. We've got a live band, we've got another live appearance. We're going to have a live remote from Chicago a little bit later. We've got, um, we're recording this event live and we'll be running it later as the weekend progresses on various hotel channels so you may see it again. Yeah. Also, we're going to be doing a hell of a game unveiling in just a little while and you're going to be able to play some of our newest games. So are you ready? Can you hear me out there? Yeah? Can you hear me in the back, back there? Is anybody back there in the back? All right, well, let's get going. To begin and get this train running, I'd like to introduce one of our star performers. That's right, he's hot on the heels of his Asian tour. Here he is. The one, the only, Vice President of Sales for Williams Valley Midway. Here he is, Mr. Joe Dillon. So you were expecting maybe Elvis? This is a great room. And this room is dedicated to rock and roll, which is an American invention. It is more than music, it's an attitude of a fast-paced society that likes active fun. There are no more waltzes for us. It's a flashy, individual-style dancing that says, I am an American, free to choose. And we have a lot of choices for you here tonight. But before we get into that, I would just like to make one simple point. In order to do that, I'm going to need the help of this great group, the Slambassadors. Now, let's try a little experiment. Ray, why don't we try a little of those drums? Okay, Charles, how about some bass? Rick, how about that guitar? Okay, Mark, let's hear that keyboard. Okay, this is a very individual, nice talent each one of these men have. Well, let's try it a little bit differently now. Let's hear it when they all work together. Let's try it again, right? when they all work together, the sweet music that they can make. And the point is very, very simple. If we all work together, as manufacturers, distributors, and operators, we too can make sweet music. Individually, we cannot achieve the same things. We have to work together in order to make 
rock and roll. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Joe Dillon, Vice President of Sales for Williams Valley Midway. Hi, Jimmy. All right, we have a second portion of our show. We mentioned a bit, little while ago that we were going to have a drawing. The way this worked is we, we sent out invitations all across Coinop land and asked you to RSVP. Hello? Hello? Ah. We asked you to RSVP, and many hundreds of you were kind enough to do that. And we said that we would have a drawing for a special prize, and what we're giving away is a round trip ticket anywhere in the continental United States. So, if I can have the help of our lovely, talented models. We said we're gonna have a drawing, now we're gonna have a drawing. This is a drawing. Can I have your name, please? Karina. This is Karina, and this is? I would like to thank my family. Oh, oh, Jeanette Coleman. And this is Jeanette Coleman, and they're gonna help us draw up an RSVP 48 state winner. Are you ready to do the drawing? Who's, who's drawing? Okay. You're drawing. The drum roll has started, you must draw. Okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, and three! Oh, she's reaching, she's reaching deep. She's got, oh, she's, I think she's got a winner. Do you have a winner? I do have a winner, uh, Craig Duncan from Family Amusement. Is Craig Duncan in the house tonight? Come on up, Craig, where are you? Craig? Here comes Craig. There he is. Right this way, there's some stairs over there. Congratulations, congratulations. You have a round trip ticket anywhere in the continental United States. Do you know where you're gonna go? I mean, you're in Vegas already. I'll just come back. You can't come back to Vegas. Well, I guess you can. All right, well, thank you very much for RSVPing. I appreciate that. Well, thank you for uh, presenting me with this prize. Hey, congratulations. Mr. Craig Duncan. Well, why don't you guys stay up here as we introduce our next act, is that okay? Okay, now I mentioned a little while ago that we have a very, very special musical guest for your entertainment pleasure this evening. Can you hear me in the back? Yeah? We've got a very special, I would even venture to say double special guest tonight for your entertainment pleasure. They've played with all of the greats, Casey and the Sunshine Band, They've played with ABBA. They've played with Roberta Flack. You name it, they've played with them. And they're here tonight for the very first time at the Hard Rock Hotel, and you're gonna have a chance to see them right now. Are you excited? Yes. Now, they are hot on the heels of their gig at Caesars Palace, a one-night gig with the Well Hungarians. May I please introduce to you the pseudo-siblings of sales. Here they are, the one, the only, Shmooz Brothers!
I'm on a mission, a mission from sales. part of the story here, part of the entertainment. It's my great pleasure to introduce the real stars of our show right now. I'm Eugene Jarvis, director of Cruise of the World. We're going for a ride. The four-way link is really wild. It's almost like a whole new game. We've got so many cars out there, four players jockeying for position, weaving in and out of traffic. You never know who's gonna win. Collections are even more than double what the two-player version did at the same place. It's unbelievable. With Cruise and World, it's like it just keeps multiplying. And it seems like the more Cruise and World you link together, the earnings go up even more. What I want to do right here is I want to pop a wheelie and go right over that cab. I'm going to give it a shot here. There's a lot of cool head-ons. There's a lot of cool helicopter tricks, barrel rolls, different flips. Why can't this be more like a video game? 
I'm so frustrated. There's just no room to do what I need to do here. We had a lot of fun at the end of the game. Your car is loaded on the shuttle. You end up somewhere in outer space. Hold on, Hillary! I guess you'll just have to play it to find out what happened. If I did those in my car, it would kind of be game over, I think. <laughs> yeah, did you hear what Eugene just had to say there? Yeah. He said, the more games you put together, the more each individual game earns. And that's the thing about cruising USA, uh, cruising the world, excuse me. <laughs> the thing about the game is, is it's the least expensive driving game, but it also collects the most which probably explains a lot of its success. Anyway, four-way linking is here. Four-way linking is ready, and a little bit later you have a chance to experience it yourself. Now we've set up four-way linking at an arcade just outside of Chicago. We did that a little while ago, and now I think we're gonna have a live remote from Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if we have the feed up yet. Do we have it up, Art? Yeah, it looks like we do. Thanks, Jim. The big story here at Friar Tucks is cruising world. And the big element everyone is talking about is the linking. I'm joined by the owner here, Tom. Tom, tell me, what has this linking done for you? It has been terrific. We're having a great time here. The customers love it. They're bringing their friends in. We have more play. We have a lot of interplay. It's been great. I've done everything over the past in the industry here. Our last 15 years, we've had live bands. We've had um, the Star Trekkies. We even had Max Hedrum and, and, and the whole Coke entourage tie up our entire parking lot. But this does it by itself. It's bringing the players in and they're having a good time. And you've gone from a two to four, and you don't even have time for the, uh, for the marquee yet. No, we haven't had time to put up the marquee. We haven't had time to do anything to collect, collect money. It's been great. Speaking of collecting money, what's this done for collection? We're up about 20% per week right now. So you've got people lined up waiting to play, and I would imagine they go to the other games while they're waiting, and it drives up some kind of this juices. That's right. It's, um, that's, why they, that's why the revenues are up 20%. It's not in the number one game, but it's bringing more people into the business, more people around the game room waiting to play and playing other games. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. That is the story here at Friar Tucks in Chicago, where Cruising World will probably be driving up collections for quite some time to come. I'm Randy Salerno, reporting live from Chicago. Back to you, Jim, in Vegas. Hey, Randy, this is Jim. Can you hear me? Sure, go ahead. Listen, could you ask Tom a question? What kind of promotions has he done in the past, or what's he planning in the future for the game? Good question. Let me find out. Tom, uh, they want to know in Vegas uh, if you've got anything special planned in terms of promotion. Yes, yeah, so under pressure from my customers, we're going to have a, a large contest in April. Uh, I guess we're going to call it the uh, Cruising Tournament. And the interest is to find out who's the best on, the, on these games. And uh, we're not only going to have individual play, we're going to have team play. And uh, we're playing two players against two players. It's be something new in a concept. We haven't done that before. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. Good luck to you. Thanks again, Tom. So that is the story here in Chicago. Cruising world. They keep cruising through the door here, try and get a chance to play it. But the lines are pretty long. Back to you guys in Vegas. Thanks. That's our man, Randy Salerno from Chicago. Thanks, Randy. Yes, the more cruisings that you put together, the more they collect. What a fantastic thing. The least expensive game that collects the most. It's a wonderful thing for operators, distributors, and for the whole industry. And we invite you in a few minutes to play cruising in its four-linked form. But first, let's take a look at this. Nickelodeon, the first and only network for kids. Aren't you glad you've got your Nickelodeon?
Hello there. We're over here now, and we're live in this corner next to Real Monsters. This beautiful game is a real fixture in any location. It attracts a ton of attention. We've taken it to a couple of, loca a couple of trade shows already, and it gets a great amount of attention and a great amount of play. I'm standing here with the lovely Jeanette Coleman from the drawing. You remember Jeanette? Hi, everybody. I'm an expert on this game because I did indeed date a real monster, so I know all about it. And Jeanette is going to take us through how to play real monsters so, uh, so that we can get an idea of how this thing functions. So why don't you take us through it? All right, all you do is you take your token and put it in the machine, and we all know that's the part we like best, but it has this great shaker motor that starts the machine vibrating, and then all you do is let it rev up, give it a real hard plunge, and it shoots the ball up through the clear tube from the commode, hits that lighted point there and you win whatever token amount is lighted up. It's, even if you win up to a hundred, that's like the grand prize, man. It's really cool. Can I show them how it works? Yeah, please fire it up once and give us a, a demo here. Huh? Okay, you take your token, you put it in, you'll hear it start to rev and vibrate. I love that part. You grab onto the plunger and whenever you're ready, you just give it a plug. Oh, hey. I won too. Enough for me in a day. Real monsters, real excitement, real collections, real monsters. <laughs> real monsters, okay. Thanks for the, for Thank the demonstration. You. We'll have this game here and on the show floor. If you have any questions for us, we'll be in both places, of course. It, real monsters is the only game that has a ball coming out of a commode. We're pretty confident about that, so shouldn't be hard to find at all. Look for it. And now, Let's move ahead and take a look at another one of our all-stars. In solo un giorno ho fatto più di quel gioco di tutti gli altri che hanno fatto in una settimana. Seit wir den Touchmaster benutzen, haben wir einen höheren Umsatz. Es fácil de mantener y operar y lo puedo mejorar en el momento que yo así lo desee. C'est un chef d'œuvre. Les jeux sont magnifiques. Tout le monde aime de les jouer. Touchmaster is one of the best collectors I've ever owned. That's right, it is taking the world by storm. Touchmaster, we're just selling this thing like hotcakes all over the world. And that one of the reasons for it, one of the big reasons for it, is this man standing right here. This is the product manager for the Touchmaster uh, product. This is Mr. Marty Blazeman. And he's going to tell us a few things about what's new in Touchmaster for this show. Marty? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I don't know if you're aware or not, but you know the World Championship of Dominoes is coming up this July. Absolutely, and we're ready because we've got three new games, Domino's, Domino's Plus, and Domino's Matador. Domino's plays true to Domino's in the way they play it, and, and you can play it in tournaments. Domino's Plus is for the expert players, and Domino's Matador has got a new twist. It's real exciting. It's in keeping with our philosophy and our policy of constantly coming out with new, innovative, and creative product. In addition to that, we've got a brand new action game 
called Blastem. Blastem is new, it's exciting, it's a little different, it's a new twist, and it falls in the category of everybody can play it. And as well as all that, we also have coming out our tournament edition. The tournament edition allows you to mix and match almost all these games. You can create a triathlon, if you will. The operator can create anything he needs for his location for promotability. He can have the players play one game of hot hoops, a game of three peaks, and a game of dominoes, if you will. There's a lot of options, a lot of opportunity. So you're saying that operators can configure their tournament any way they want to. Okay, so that's fantastic. I also understand that we have something at this show that we're demonstrating called Nanny Compatibility. You folks in the back, can you hear? Yeah? Hello? We have something called Nanny Compatibility with this game. Could you explain what that means to the operators and, and possibly to profitability? Yeah, I think I can. Jim, uh, it, not only are we showing uh, the Nanny game, the Nanny version, but it is on test. It's, it's two games on test as we speak, doing quite well. The Nanny is the National Amusement Network. It's where they, it's owned by the operators. It's, it's something exciting, it's creative. They'll be able to do national tournaments, creating all kinds, again, more opportunities for the operators to promote in their locations any which way they decide they want to do. Marty, we'll be here uh, after the game unveiling. If you have any questions for him about Touchmaster, and I assume you'll be on the show floor all three days. And you can come talk to him and ask him any questions that you have to Now, thank you, Marty. Now we're going to move on and take a look at one of our newest superstars. When I was a little kid, I grew up, you know, playing street basketball in Chicago. And I've just always wanted to make a, a pinball basketball game. The playfield design in this in this game is very interesting. It, it it's it's got a basket first of all because I mean it's a basketball game and you're going to take that pinball and you're going to shoot it through the basket and there's four holes in front of the basket. You can pass the ball from any of those four holes. There's a defender working against you um, and he'll go to whatever hole that you have the ball in. You pass the ball away. You take a shot on basket. You're working against a 24 second shot clock, just like the real thing. Get ready for some prime time basketball. The scoring in fast break uh, totally parallels real basketball. You know, you shoot free throws, they're worth one point. You know, you shoot around, it's two. And of course, there's, you know, there's three pointers. It creates a tremendous spirit of competition. I know what I have to do to catch you. Um, it's a very relatable number. It's not a billion points. Oh, he buried that one! You know, the, the backlash feature is in response to our customers who wanted something different happening in pinball, some some new, you know, some new way of playing. Today's game is being brought to you by Valley Pinball in conjunction with the NBA. The NBA is, is tremendous. Uh, it's a tremendous property. I mean, it's got the kind of equity that, that a license needs to have. I, I mean, we've got all 29 NBA teams in this game, and we've got five starters from every team. It's earned very well in a variety of locations. And that's really, I mean, uh, let's face it, in our business, that's a huge selling point. Fastbreak includes a tournament software package. And what that means is that the operator can set up and run a tournament. In the right location, it can be a huge contributor to earnings. I really think it's gonna be one of the best games we've ever made. It is one of the best games we've ever made. And I'm standing here with the designer of the game. This is Mr. George Gomez, for those in the room who don't know him. Pinball designer extraordinaire. What do you say we unveil this thing and take a look at it, huh? Yes, sir. Ooh, let's have a round of applause for NBA Fast Break. Wow, when you look at this thing, it looks uh, completely different than any pinball machine I've ever seen. Can you take us through some of the features, George? Absolutely, Jim. This is a truly landmark pinball. We have pulled the stops out and uh, provided an absolute 
awesome game here. Um, we start out with the back glass feature, interactive, uh, player actuated back glass feature. Uh, a lot of our customers asked us to do something different in pinball, and this is part of that. You come down to the game here, right on the play field, um, where the basket is located, you'll see four shooter positions in front of the basket. There's also a shot clock in the back box. Um, how you play this area is uh, you're going to go into one of the shooter positions and you're going to play against some of the best defenders in the NBA. The defender is going to move in front of that shooter position and you're going to try to beat them. You can pass the ball with the flippers, pass left, pass right, make a shot on basket. You're working against the 24 second shot clock just like the real thing. Um, the whole game is essentially basketball. You don't score millions of points in this, in, this, in this pinball machine. You score ones, twos, and threes, just like basketball. It creates a tremendous spirit of competition. I know exactly what it is that I need to do to beat you, Jim. Uh, if you're up six points, I need a couple of threes, or you know, I'll take some twos. I'm not gonna do it shooting free throws. Um, there's uh, there's a, a couple of other features which are really important to this game. Um, the tournament feature, which you've heard about in the video, um, you really need to find out about this. Certain locations, this feature can be a killer. Um, and then, of course, um, the surprise of the evening, the world's first ever linked pinball. You can take two fast breaks with a link kit and hook them together, and I can play against you, and we play uh, a different type of pinball. It's a new way to play pinball. Essentially, you're going to play for a minute and a half, and uh, the interface, the startup interface, is just like a video game, just like a cruising link. Uh, and what happens is, at the end of that minute and a half, whoever's ahead in points wins. It's that simple. Um, the, the game that you're going to see uh, is right over there. There's one, there's one NBA fast break linked on the floor, and you're going to see it. It's very crude. Um, we're still working on it, but linking is coming. It's the world's first ever, and, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. This basketball game really lends itself to that. Now, uh, let me show you a little bit about the game. Why don't you show us that back glass feature? Show, you, so show us how we activate that and make that thing do its thing. Well, the very first time that you go to Crazy Bob's concession stand, because this is basketball, and at the stadium, there's concessions. You're going to play Pizza Power Points. That's up here. You can, you can shoot right here or you can use one of the flipper buttons. And you see it scrolling one, two, three. I want to try to time my shot so that I hit a one, two, or a three. It's really a lot of fun. This is fast break. It's smart pinball. I can imagine that'll be even more exciting if you can have two games linked together. People are going head-to-head -head and they're trying to outscore their competition. Jim, when you play the head-to-head -head game, you can play the game any way you want. I can go play pizza power points if I am really slick at timing myself up here, and you can go play hot dog mania where all shots are worth three points if you think you can hit a, a variety of shots doing that. So there's a lot of ways to play the link game. Um, the link game is, as you'll see, it's, it's still very crude, um, but it, it's gonna be there. It's really gonna be there. Thank you. Let's have a big round of applause for Mr. George Gomez, designer of NBA Fast Break. This game is on location testing in Chicago and absolutely kicking when it comes to collections. Absolutely. You're going to love it. And you'll have a chance to play it in just a few minutes. But uh, first, before we go on to our final star of the evening, I'd like to ask for your help in thanking a member of our crew here. We've got one, one guy I want to recognize in particular who has been responsible for the content of this show and the way that this thing has come together. I'm not going to get a chance to thank him again tonight. And some of the previous shows that you remember all the way back to the Hollywood Wax Museum. He's on the top up there. We can't see him right now. But could you please assist me with a big round of applause for the producer of tonight's show, Mr. Art Tianis. He does a hell of a job and he's always there for us. That's the thing. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our final star of the evening. And it goes something like this. Operators have been asking for something new, something different, something other than sports, fighting, and driving games. 
and Rampage was designed with that in mind. Rampage was being in a sandbox, smashing your sand castles. And the first time I saw a Godzilla meets Mothra movie, all I can remember is thinking, gee, wouldn't it be fun to be in one of those suits smashing through these little toy cities? Like the original Rampage, Rampage World Tour was designed to appeal to a broad range of people, to the teenagers, to the hardcore, to couples. Rampage appeals to that big gap that the operator has been saying, I don't have any games for these other people. Yeah, I've got the hardcore covered. Yeah, my, my 15 year old male, I've got a ton of those type of games for them. But what about everybody else? Rampage fills that gap. Gotcha. They came from an experiment gone bad. The accident has affected our three lab technicians. They seem to have mutated into, into some sort of, oh my God. With an appetite big enough to eat an entire city for lunch. It's Rampage World Tour. I'm sorry to call with the bad news, sir. They've completely annihilated the Sears Tower, Mr. Mayor. And I'm afraid they've also eaten your car. No! Watch as George, Lizzie, and Ralph feast their way across the globe, heading 130 cities to their menu of world destruction. It all started as a game, a game that steadily gained collections momentum, a game everyone can play, from casual players to the hardcore fans. The time tales Rampage World Tour as easy to walk up to and play, and the inquiring star boasts it's packed with multiple waves and hidden tricks. Yeah. Operators Digest Raves. Rampage fills in the gap between novelty and more hardcore video games, and then some. And finally, a game with a sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Use your hot loogie, slap kick, and rooftop stomp to maul your way to victory. Based on the original, best-selling Rampage, World Tour has evolved into something bigger than the creators ever imagined. It's taken on a life of its own, and it's headed this way! The following is an emergency arcade alert. Warning, Rampage in progress. We're getting reports of some unusually violent seismic activity in the Las Vegas area. I can't quite see what's causing the commotion. I see a large lizard-like creature, along with an ape working in tandem with the lizard. There's a canine-type creature. We've just received word that the National Guard is being called in. Oh, look out! They're moving towards the... Thank you. Thank you.